Baycar has entered a critical new phase in the development of its Kizilelma reconnaissance and strike unmanned aerial vehicle, marking the transition from early prototypes to more advanced testing with a powerful Ukrainian engine. The third prototype has taken to the skies, carrying both heavy and precision-guided munitions, in what appears to be a carefully staged series of experiments aimed at validating aerodynamic performance, propulsion efficiency, and weapons integration. Footage released by the company shows the drone carrying a 250kg Mk.82 bomb equipped with the Teber-82 guidance kit, suspended on an external setup, for T pylon. This decision is notable because, while the Kizilelma is promoted as a low-observable aircraft with internal weapons bays, Baycar has opted to use external pylons for this phase of testing. This setup simplifies instrumentation and allows engineers to monitor the aircraft's behavior with live payloads, while also providing data on how the airframe handles drag and stability with externally mounted ordnance. The heart of this testing phase is the integration of the Ukrainian AI, 322F turbofan engine, which replaces the smaller AI-25 TLT engines used in the first two prototypes. The new engine includes an afterburner, allowing the drone to explore flight regimes closer to transonic speeds. During one of the early flights, engineers specifically studied the aircraft's behavior during takeoff with the afterburner engaged, providing crucial data on thermal effects, thrust response, and control stability under high power conditions. Subsequent flights focused on mid-subsonic speeds of around Mach 0.6, enabling the team to evaluate the drone's handling and performance across a range of flight profiles. The AI-322F engine represents a significant step forward in terms of propulsion capability, promising not only higher top speeds but also more agile maneuvering and improved climb performance, which are critical for both survivability and mission flexibility. While much attention has been given to the drone's propulsion, the weapon systems trials are equally important. In addition to the Mk.82 bomb, the Kizilelma has flown with Talon munitions, small diameter precision guided bombs analogous to the American GBU 39 B. These smaller weapons allow for high precision strikes with minimal collateral damage, giving the UAV a versatile strike profile suitable for a variety of tactical scenarios. Using external pylons during these tests is a practical compromise, it allows engineers to integrate and instrument the munitions quickly while assessing flight dynamics under realistic payload conditions. However, achieving internal carriage of these weapons remains a critical goal for the production model, as internal bays are essential for maintaining low observability and reducing drag, which will become increasingly important at higher speeds. The Kizilelma UAV is designed to operate at high altitudes, with a maximum ceiling of 13,700 meters and a service ceiling of 7,600 meters, while remaining airborne for more than three hours. The aircraft is intended to support multiple variants, including subsonic, transonic, and potentially supersonic versions, depending on engine configuration and aerodynamic enhancements. The subsonic cruising speed is listed at Mach 0.6, with a maximum speed reaching Mach 0.9, achievable with the AI-322F engine. This range of speed profiles provides operational flexibility, allowing the drone to perform both loitering surveillance missions and rapid strike operations. The airframe itself measures 14.5 meters in length with a 10-meter wingspan and a height of 3.5 meters, supporting a maximum takeoff weight of 8,500 kilograms and a payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms. These figures indicate a UAV designed to bridge the gap between tactical strike drones and light manned combat aircraft, capable of carrying a substantial weapons load while maintaining autonomous flight control across all phases of operation including takeoff, cruise, and landing. Autonomy is a key aspect of Kizilelma's design philosophy. The UAV can execute all phases of flight without human intervention, relying on advanced flight control systems to navigate, manage speed, and perform takeoffs and landings. This autonomy not only reduces operator workload but also enables more complex mission planning and execution, including coordinated strikes with other unmanned or manned platforms. The operator interface, 
as revealed in prototype testing, integrates live sensor feeds from the UAV's cameras and targeting systems, providing situational awareness while allowing for mission adjustments in real time. The combination of autonomy and sensor integration ensures that Kizilelma can function effectively in contested environments where rapid decision-making and precision targeting are essential. The planned production model will feature a comprehensive sensor suite, including electro-optical targeting, infrared optical systems, and a multi-mode radar with active electronically scanned array AESA, capability. This sensor integration will allow the UAV to conduct long-range reconnaissance, identify and track targets under diverse conditions, and support precision strike missions with minimal human intervention. AESA radar, in particular, will enhance the drone's ability to detect, track, and engage targets at high speeds, improving operational effectiveness in complex environments. The combination of advanced sensors, autonomous control, and powerful propulsion positions Kizilelma as a versatile and formidable UAV capable of performing both reconnaissance and strike roles in modern battlefields. The collaboration between Baykar and Ukrainian engine manufacturer Evchenko Progress underscores the increasingly globalized nature of defense technology development. By sourcing high-performance engines externally, Baycar has accelerated the integration of cutting-edge propulsion systems while maintaining control over the airframe's design and operational capabilities. Engine deliveries continued through 2024, providing a consistent supply chain for testing and eventual production. The AI-322F engine not only boosts the UAV's speed and agility but also represents a strategic choice, enabling Baycar to explore transonic flight capabilities and expand the envelope of unmanned combat aircraft design beyond conventional limits. Operationally, the Kizilelma promises to alter tactical calculations for both strike and reconnaissance missions. Its combination of speed, high-altitude operation, and diverse payload options allows for rapid response to emerging threats, minimizing exposure to ground-based air defenses. The flexibility to deploy both large general-purpose bombs and small-diameter precision munitions means that operators can tailor missions for specific tactical outcomes, ranging from area suppression to targeted neutralization of high-value assets. At the same time, the integration of autonomous systems reduces reliance on human operators, allowing for more efficient and responsive mission execution across multiple UAVs operating in concert. Despite its promise, several engineering challenges remain. Maintaining low observability while carrying external munitions will require careful aerodynamic refinement, and managing the thermal signature of an afterburning engine is critical for survivability against infrared-guided threats. Future test flights will need to demonstrate that the aircraft can achieve its advertised transonic capabilities without compromising stealth or sensor effectiveness. Internal weapons bay integration, durability of the propulsion system under extended sorties, and seamless operation of the full sensor suite are all milestones that Baycar must achieve before the Kizilelma can enter operational service. In the coming months, attention will likely focus on high-speed envelope expansion, successful internal bay munitions deployment, and comprehensive reliability testing of the AI-322F engine. The integration of AESA radar and full EO-IR sensor systems will be crucial for validating the UAV's ability to perform autonomous targeting and reconnaissance in real-world scenarios. If these developments proceed as planned, Kizilelma could represent a significant step forward in unmanned combat aviation, combining speed, autonomy, payload versatility, and advanced sensors into a single platform capable of redefining tactical UAV operations. Baycar's Kizilelma program reflects a maturation from initial prototypes to a more sophisticated UAV family with ambitious performance goals. The Ukrainian afterburning engine is a key enabler unlocking higher-speed flight and complex maneuvering that were previously unattainable. The use of external pylons for early testing is a pragmatic solution, allowing the company to gather critical flight data while refining the airframe's aerodynamics and propulsion integration. As Baycar progresses toward production models with fully integrated internal weapons bays, AESA radar, 
and EO slash IR systems, the Kizilelma is positioned to emerge as a potent, versatile, and highly capable unmanned strike and reconnaissance platform, with the potential to influence future UAV development trends on a global scale.